hello everyone welcome back to my channel today in this video we are going to build a simple wikipedia web app so if you are new here please consider subscribing so you won't miss any future updates so now let's start the video now you can see i have created one folder called css project and inside that i have created one more folder for our project so whenever we create a project we'll have the separate folder for that so it will be like separated all the files should be separated so here we can see wikipedia app folder we have let's open it and let's open into the vs code so in order to open into the vs code we can do here pmd so it will open command from and from that code space dot we are going to open the vs code here so let's create a file inside this the html file so whenever we create a project we should be having the index.html file okay so it is a best practice if you want you can have it or you can give it any other name or to it okay so i am just writing index.html okay so here we have the index.html let's create a css file as well so i'll create index.css for our external css whatever we want to write i don't want to write inside a file because we are going for a project that's why i have created a separate file okay so let's start with the html uh, the basic boilerplate we have and we got the boilerplate i'll write it down as wikipedia okay so now uh, let's open someone's wikipedia and get the details here okay so now you can see I have opened a, one Wikipedia page for Spider-Man and we can see all the details here. So let's start dumping this details in our application. Okay. But before that, we need to have a layout for this. What exactly we want to build. Okay. So first thing uh, in the layout, we have header. So obviously we are going to have this spider name as a header. And then we have a navigation bar over here. We can say as this one article and talk. And the content we can see over here so we can have section or article something like that we can create and we can have this okay so let's go to the vs code and let's create creating this structure okay so first we have header and then i'll create h2 tag inside this and we'll have the title over here okay so this is our header and then we have a nav bar okay so in the nav bar uh, as we saw here we have article talk okay we have so many things but we'll concentrate on this for now article and talk so i'll create only uh, two span tag okay i will be uh, creating only span tag not uh, ul or ol okay in the order list and or unordered list because we i want in a simple line or a single line okay that's why i'm creating like this article and one more span we have for the talk okay so let's save it and let's open into the preview as well so we can see properly yeah so we can see the header is there and the article and talk as well both are there okay so let's save this and let's create main section over here okay so in the main section uh, we'll be creating two sections okay so first section is for image so i'll comment on over here that it is for image and one more section i will create it is for the data which we are going to put it like paragraph and all this stuff okay so i'll write data over here so let's go back and let's get the image over here okay so in order to get the image what you can do is you can right click on this image here and you can copy image address or you can locally save it also and import it okay save image as you have so for now i will do copy image address so we can create a image tag and in the src we can provide it okay so img which we have the image tag and src in that i can just paste it this is the image and we are getting the image over there okay so alt alt you have to write it down because if suppose nay image is not loaded that time it is helpful to know which image is there okay so i'll write it down the spider man name over here in the alt okay so i have saved this and we are getting the image as well now uh, let's add the content over here okay 
So in the content, we only have the paragraph. So I'll just write down paragraph over here and let's copy from the Wikipedia page. So it is starting from here and let's copy it. And you see some of the places it's uh, like color blue or like uh, darker color, which is bold color is there. So if you want, you can use the B tag and anchor tag to provide these kind of things. Okay. But for now, I'll just go with the simple paragraphs only. So I will be just uh, pasting all the paragraph over here. Okay. So this is the first paragraph and we can see in the preview as well. It's coming over here and let's go back and let's copy the other paragraph. Let's come back and paste it. So I will be pasting two more paragraphs so in order to have like so much content we can show over here. And let's copy this last paragraph and paste it down. Okay, so I have saved it. Now you see all the content we have over here and we can see as well in the our application. Okay, so this is how we added the data and let's add one more thing. Uh, let I'll show you one more feature or like one more uh, element or we can say tag we have okay with that what you can do is you can move the text from uh, left to right or right to left okay so i'll create a footer first a semantic and inside that i'll write it as mark you okay so mark you tag help us to move the text okay if i write this is app okay now you see in the bottom over here it's moving okay from right to left okay so this is how you can do so here we'll display the spider-man data which is like first name we'll say and i'll be writing in a b tag okay and let's see is it going to work or not okay so you see it will work inside that b tag and all but if you provide image tag and all in that mark you right it will not going to work okay so let me go back and let's copy the full name over here let's provide it over here okay so similarly i'll be writing the other things okay so name and then what we have over here is created and the publisher okay so let's write publisher and inside a b tag i'll just copy this name marvel comics and paste it over here and then we have created by okay so similar to this uh, we can have who created okay it's stanley okay and i'll be pasting the name okay if i save it now you see we are getting the name and then publisher marvel comics and created by stanley okay so this is the kind of thing you can provide using the mark you tag okay yes so as you can see we have created html basic structure over here and also we can see in our web app that we have uh, added header navigation image and the content and also the footer okay so in the next video we are going to see how we can apply css on our wikipedia page in order to modify it okay so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you did please consider subscribing to the channel and give it a thumbs up I'll be back with more content in the next video. Thank you.